Okay, and I'm back. I put the dough hook on. I'm going to lift the bowl back up. And I'm going to hit the stir button. And I'm going to add our fourth cup of flour now. And I'm also going to add a little bit of milk. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add cup five. And you want to give you want to give your mixture enough time. This is going to be cup six to mix everything in. And I'm going to kind of show you guys what I mean. There's still a lot of flour in there. Let let this beat in before adding even more flour. And sometimes you need to just help your dough I'm going to add a little bit more milk just to get the dough a little bit wet so it's absorbing all this flour. And this needs to knead for quite a while. This needs to knead at least 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our six cup of flour. And I'm gonna add the, I'm gonna add half of the milk to it to see what it's gonna do. I'm gonna measure out cup number seven. Now, sometimes for cup number eight, you need to keep that on the side and don't add it to this. Sometimes it takes more. Sometimes it'll take nine or ten, ten cups. And this is doing pretty good. So I'm going to add the rest of our, our milk. And I'm going to go ahead and add our seventh cup of flour. Now you noticed I have not measured out the eighth cup of flour yet because the eighth cup is more when you go to do the plat, plat which means the braid, you're going to have to roll it up. So the eighth cup takes that in, con in conjunction. So I'm going to let this, this knead for a good while. And what you want to do is you just want to get all of the And sometimes you need to stop the machine and bring it down and just take take your uh, spatula or pancake turner. Well, no, this is a spatula. A rubber scraper is actually what it, it's really called. And just kind of help the dough. There's a lot of flour stuck to to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna give it a mix. Once in a while, you may need to add a little bit more milk. But I'm gonna see how, the, how this goes. Once it starts cleaning the side, 
I know I'm good to go. And it will take a while for the dough to fully knead. you guys see what it what it's doing up close. We're just kneading. Once it starts to clean the bowl, you're gonna be you're gonna be good. And it's not quite there yet. So while I have you guys up here, you're gonna make sure you have your oven on 350 degrees because that's what the hoska is gonna bake for. But like I said, the hoska has to go through two rises. And each rise is going to be one hour each. So that's going to be a two hour rise. And we're almost getting there. It's almost cleaning the bowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to just tap this and feel that the dough is really tacky so I am going to add a little bit more flour to it. I'm not going to add the full eighth cup. I'm going to add about a quarter of this. Just a little bit. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just need to help the bottom. I'm going to step this for one second. And we're, get, we're getting there with, with, with this. And don't go above on your mixer. Don't go above the stir. This recipe because it calls for so much cups, you may not be able to do this on the tilt back. Add about six cups and knead in by hand your other three cups. And we're almost getting there. Uh, just a little bit more flour. And again, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to help the bottom of the dough. give it about another minute or so. And 
and I think that's pretty good. Let me feel how, see how this does. Oh yeah, this is separating. It's still a little bit tacky. That's okay. You're going to add the remaining flour later on. So now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to add our raisins and our almonds. And we're just going to do about a minute, minute and a half knead. Now I have some raisins opened already, but I think I used the last time I made. And these kind of turns. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not use these. I'm going to throw these out and use the fresh, fresh box. And you can add as many raisins as you want or as little as you want. Uh, the recipe calls for a quarter cup. I usually eyeball it and add my own raisins. I'm going to stop the, this video because it's, it'll be 11 minute mark. I'll pick you right back up.